growing up in rural africa exposed me to the different ways scarcity exposes individuals to use the least variable resources for survival sharing this experience with the world would have been impossible without the invaluable guidance and support accorded to me by various individuals and organizations I'm most grateful to the village members for listening care, guidance and facilitation. Let's get into this. So during the last 30 years, the production and use of building stone has steadily increased worldwide. And today stone has reached a position as one of the world's most important mineral resources for many countries. A quarry is a type of open pit mine from which the rock or minerals are extracted. The end product materials from the quarries include marble, gravel, granite, dimensional stone and limestone which are regarded as inevitable in modern civil engineering and construction works. It's also known that stones over the century have played virtual roles in the entire lives of the human race. It supplies mineral to meet many of the social needs. Since stone products are needed essentially in the concrete buildings such as houses, bridges and roads, quite blocks of stones are used when cut, shaped and cave for facing buildings hence quarrying being the only source of these raw materials is a major activity in many parts of the world where mineral deposits such as hard rock and sand and gravel are available let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of quarrying the stones Quarries can provide numerous jobs at the local level. People can work at the quarry to extract the stones that are needed. Drivers are needed to transport the stones to where it will be processed or used. Processing facilities hire handlers to create usable products from delivered materials. Local service industries are needed to support these workers. The market for these stones are remarkably consistent. Quiet stones can be used to neutralize acidity, so it can be added to soils or lakes. Stones are also used in iron manufacturing industry, which are required for cement, concrete, and metal mixes. Quiet stones are also durable in building materials. Some of the pyramids were built using these stones. Modern buildings have stood for centuries with these materials. It's also easily accessible near the surface, which makes it possible for most quarries to have minimum impact on this surrounding environment. Most of today's landmarks are built with stones. Quiet stones are the only option available to us that will allow us to maintain or restore these heritage items to a state that was similar to their original construction. So let's look at some of the disadvantages of stone quarrying to the environment. Stone quarrying can permanently disfigure the environment. Many stone quarries can be seen from a great distance away. In many cases, the quarrying work creates changes to the natural landscape that cannot be repaired. That means once the quarry has been established, it often becomes a permanent part of that community. Even if it's not being used, quarries are known to cause sinkholes, damage groundwater tables, and increase the risks of experiencing soil erosion even when managed properly. Mosu, 
these queries create difficult traffic patterns yes queries may create jobs but they also create costs traffic can be a major problem for small communities near a quarry there may be infrastructure costs required to support the quarry before it can begin operations noise pollution traffic exhaust and other related traffic problems become part of the experience as well Quarries also have a negative impact on wildlife habitants. Indigenous animals, insects, and trees all struggle to survive when a stone quarry is established. Digging into the ground to remove these natural resources scolds the balance of ecosystem in a way that can make it difficult for many local species to survive. Also, these quarries may have a negative health impact. Ace to say something. They break it like uh, the way you break it, ain't it? Yeah, uh, they break themselves. Eh? Mm. So now they remove the big one to put a big one to put a side. Then the remaining balance they bring just to here. For, for us to burn here. Mm. Mm. This is a small, small one. So after you burn now? After you burn? So they give you a Facing sometimes too much, hungry bear. Mm. Mm. By the moment you come from home, maybe you don't have even a single thing. Mm. So you have to stay here, banging up to even mm. nothing to eat. Mm. Then again, when you are banging like this, you see the way you are banging. Mm. See? Up to coming up to this side, eh? mm. you might bang even the heart. Mm. Don't you see the zoom? Mm. You see this one. Sometimes you might bang even here. The fingers will be removed. It's like they they it's like that. Sometimes you might bang like this, then the this small one we must run up to your heart. And you say sometimes like a man here from up there to down. Yes. Mm. You see where this stone is from? Mm. It goes from up there, up to down. Mm. So the good thing is you go to June. Top ground, top land. Yes, yes, yes. I wish those things was not there. Mm. For example, this. Or maybe some stone follow him from up, up to down. He's going to burn like this. But this, he has reached here. So what prices those big stones? Do they sell by themselves? Or ca make cavate people? Mm, they yeah. come and, and hit? Yes, they begin from down, 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 down like that. Mm. Mm. Up, up. Just a hard work. Yes, you see 
there are people they are the one who need to lose it. Your name? Mm. So you're saying when they're doing some up here. Most of these quarries may have a negative impact on health. Stringent health and safety regulations can offset some of the negative health impacts that quarrying these stones may cause, but not all of them. Inhaling the dust from these stones quarry is known to cause silicosis and phimocosis. Local populations may suffer from changes to sleep patterns and the increased stress from the quarry can cause unique and unpredictable health concerns. More to this story, quarrying these stones show us that we can experience many benefits from this natural resource, but there are several important negatives that must be managed as well. If we take care of the environment, we can benefit from what it provides. If we do not, then the benefits from these stones or any other resources will be fleeting at the best. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Until next time, so please don't forget to subscribe, share, leave a comment in the comment section. Bye now.